welcome to Vladis Place. Today's video is about making focaccia bread. I recently visited one of our local schools where I had an opportunity to work with a group of students and teach them how to make bread from scratch. We were learning how to make bread by hand and the idea was to teach kids how to do this uh, centuries-old skill using simplest ingredients. Besides learning how to make bread, students were also learning another very important lesson, which was a lesson of giving back to their community. The bread we're baking today is scheduled to serve over 130 guests, which will attend tomorrow's community event called the Blessing of the Harvest. This little group was phenomenal. I can say how impressed I am with their work and um, the instructions that I gave. I mean, I didn't realize they were really listening and taking everything in. So right now they are on their own basically, finishing up what we started. Teamwork was really paying off and after hours of labor we were almost done with baking bread. And now it was time to try it. It's good. Okay. It's healthy. Our little town of Temecula is known for its vineyards and wine. And so Blessings of the Harvest is an important community event. Harvest was particularly good this year which gave us just another reason to call the community in to celebrate. Beside its great wines, Temecula also offers some of the best artisan foods in Southern California. And today, Chef Jack is serving only his best. All right, so let me share with you my version of focaccia recipe. Here are the simple ingredients, and we are starting with a half a cup of warm water and half a teaspoon of sugar. Water mixture, we're gonna add one package of active dry yeast and allow it to activate. In a mixing bowl, we'll add two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and half a cup of olive oil. And to all of this, now we're gonna add activated yeast and some fresh rosemary. Now I'm gonna set this aside and here's a little addition that you will not normally find in focaccia recipes. So what I'm doing, I'm adding two ounces of water and two tablespoons of sour cream. I'm gonna add this mixture to the flour and then we're gonna mix it all nicely together. As you work all the ingredients in, your dough should look something like this. It should be nice and soft. You will need little extra flour to finalize forming the dough, after which you will set the dough to rest. I like resting my dough on a pot of lukewarm water. And once it has doubled in size, I would uh, knead it again and set it back to rise. So you need to do this twice before you are ready to roll it out. I would suggest that as you stretch your dough and you go uh, upward and downward, try not to press too hard on the dough so that you don't lose the bubbles inside. Now that you're done, you're gonna set the dough on a well-oiled baking pan and make these holes to make space for rosemary, garlic, and olives. A touch of oil on the top and we're gonna allow our dough to rest for another five to seven minutes before we set it in an oven on 350 for about 35 minutes. And this bread will be a great addition to a homemade cabbage soup we're making for dinner tonight. Thank you for watching. I truly enjoyed sharing this focaccia recipe with you and I just want to let you know that this recipe is slightly different because it contains little extra olive oil and it has the sour cream. So the final product is a really thin and crispy bread that's perfect for soups. If you like this video, please join our channel because we have many more on their way. Thank you all for watching and until the next time, stay good care of yourself and those around you.